Hi, my name is Blaze Harris and I'm the Fire and Life Safety Educator for Rocky Mount Fire Department. What I'm going to talk about today is some things that you may come into contact with while you're at camp. You may come in contact with somebody who has got a cut, a scrape, or bee stings. First things we're going to talk about are cuts and scrapes. Most of the time, if somebody has a cut or a scrape, we just want to immediately put some Neosporin on it or a Band-Aid and just call it a day. That's not what you want to do at camp. Somebody comes to you with a cut or scrape, you want to clean the wound with soapy water. Get all the blood, all the debris out of it that way. After you have cleaned it with soapy water, you want to pat it dry and then apply a clean sterile bandage. Another thing you may come into contact with are stings. Now, some people have a severe allergic reaction when it comes to stings, and they may be prescribed an EpiPen. If that's the case, then someone who has been trained to use an EpiPen should be the one to administer it. If you have never been trained to use an EpiPen, then you should not be using an EpiPen. Seek immediate medical assistance. Now, if someone who has been stung and does not have a severe allergic reaction, here's what you can do. You can get the stinger out by using a debit card or a business card. Use that card to scrape the stinger out, then clean it with soapy water and apply a sterile bandage if needed. If you ever wonder if what you're doing is enough, or if you are not confident in the things that you can do to provide additional care, give us a call. Dial 911. Get us some route. We'll be right there to help you in any way that we possibly can. But remember, if you have a cut and a scrape, clean it with soapy water first. Clear out all the blood and the debris. Dry it off, and then put a sterile bandage on top. If there is a sting, remember. If you're not trained to use an EpiPen, you shouldn't use an EpiPen at all. Seek immediate medical assistance. Give us a call. We'll come take care of that for you. If they don't have a severe allergic reaction, use a card to scrape the stinger out, clean it with soapy water, and then apply a bandage if needed. Any more questions? Feel free to give us a call here at the fire station or visit our website at rockymountfire.org.